Might help if you don't have push to talk on from last night doing a race broadcast, but there we go. Fix that. As you guys can see, we're inside of uh, Vipers 389. Carlisle's back and rebooted, despite some uh, goofy little uh, bullshit I had to deal with yesterday. It was enough to bring me out of retirement and uh, reestablish the fact that we have never gone anywhere and you can't sell rights to a company that you don't own. So Troy, the, the main owner, stepping down at the moment, well he's been down for a while, that puts me at the helm of the ship and I sure as hell didn't sign no damn contract with anybody so anything that has been said or done is not legally binding to any extent so we're just gonna continue driving like we are and we're doing both we're gonna do the Dalton Highway map or if you guys prefer to run stateside we'll be doing that as well but since we are back in action we are recruiting this time everything is going to be run off of the uh, Facebook page down there. And I know it's been a while since I've uh, done some heavy work here, so... It should be interesting. I shortened the wheelbase on this truck back when it was green in the uh, previous episodes. It was a super long truck. That's not going to float when you're uh, trying to make a lot of weird curves and stuff like that. So we shorten the wheelbase. Still the same uh, fuel tanks on it. Change some of the lighting around. And we are good to go now. So we're going to roll out of Pittsburgh. And I believe we're going to get back on uh, 70. 76. Head towards Philly and New York. And right there's the gas station, which is exactly what we needed because this truck is right above a quarter tank of fuel. A little bit of fog setting in too. I don't remember that from before. Out to this rain. Actually, uh, no, it's only a single Jeep on it. And of course, it has to start absolutely just pouring on us here. But the good part is, is all we gotta do is get into a uh, fuel station here. Bitch. So picky with that clutch. there right now. I'm going to do one thing I can see that needs to be done. I need to pull the volume out of the truck a little bit. Pull that down and pull me up just a hair. So we're inside the cab. We're going to shut her off. We're going to refuel here. See how much it takes. And with the wide swing that I took it should be alright. Just kind of swing to the left and we'll make our way around and back out of here. See how thirsty this truck is. Two hundred three gallons. It's amazing how the basement gears never really uh, play a factor. It's always the attic gear. Oh, 
jam on the brakes. Good lord, really? Come on. You can do it. Go. Jeez. Sometimes this SKRS shifter acts out big time. It looks like the rain's gonna start letting up. At least hopefully it will. Now, right now with the Dalton not being 1.29 compatible yet, Main reason why I'm running stateside plus the, uh, the real time uh, drives right now kind of drive me up a wall. But I will get to doing some of those eventually once it makes it over to the uh, latest version. Which apparently not much really changed from uh, 1.28 to 1.29, just the uh, random events and the state of New Mexico being added in. So hopefully it's not too long. I know Hawks is really busy. With personal life, so I don't expect them to like jump all over it and uh, have it out. I mean, real life comes first. This is secondary. Sometimes it doesn't even fall into an order. It's all about priorities, and obviously, real life does take precedence over that. So you got to respect them for that. So in the meantime, we'll be. Uh, just doing services for the lower 48 and Canada. We got our cruise on. And roughly about 440 miles till we get to uh, Rhode Island. So we enter through the Allegheny uh, Mountains here in Pennsylvania. Roll through the tunnel here on 76. This truck just looks so much better back with the uh, Carlisle skins on it. And all the lighting as well, of course. Gotta have lights. And blue neons. So now we're gonna go through the pretzel here. Where it's right, left, right, left, right, left. It's almost like we're doing the secret Mike Tyson's punch out code here just to drive. But as stated, we are back. I am 100% behind the, uh, the helm of the ship. As far as operations go, I do have a couple people. Oh, the company's back up and going again. After finding out that somebody tried to sell the rights to it, which they legally couldn't do, and a bunch of undue drama yesterday that spilled over into this morning, not gonna be intimidated by somebody else claiming that they have legal documentation of anything when it's all bullshit, so. That was enough to pull me out of uh, hibernation and get back behind the wheel and put this company back on the map. No pun intended there. Reopen doors. Everybody's welcome. Fill out a simple driver, driver application. And you're free to run either the 48 contiguous states, Canada included as well, or run the Dalton on the uh, 1.28 version of the map until the uh, patch comes out from 1.29 Why are you guys going so slow? This is the fast lane You're supposed to go fast Thank 
you, even though I don't want to set cruise control because that car up there is probably going to jump out in line. Oh, we thought about it and then went back in. Alright, I'll, I'll pull the rescue move and I'll hit cruise. I can't react like I could with a normal trailer because now I've got this big ass one behind me. Oh, my truck is three miles an hour faster than yours. I'm going to pass. I'm really going to bite cop's ass. Come on, let's go. Flat top Pete. Now we're gonna pass that trooper who kinda log jammed everything up for us. Hi officer Dan, how you doing? Don't wanna hit you because then you'll put me in jail. Instead I'd rather just drag race you. What is our estimated time of arrival? We've knocked, wow, already 100 miles off. So we should be rolling up into New York here pretty soon. Little Empire State. Right now they've got us at a ETA of 325 in the morning. So there's 76 for Philly. We're gonna stay on for New York and Boston. I'm oh, sorry, Boston, Boston, however you wanna say it. You know, it's, everything's with an A. I don't know, you drop, yeah. You leave the A on there, but you drop off any other letter at the end of a word that has an A in it. Like, ka. Drop the R's. Pack the ka and have it yard. Been a little while. So as we get closer and closer, it's only coming up on ten o'clock at night. We left at about six, so we've been on the road for four hours in game. We're right up on the three hundred mile mark. Now we're on apparently 78. A lot of the interstates just randomly change. This shouldn't be 78. But it is. Uh, yeah, I, I looked at it uh, off screen. All important coffee down the throat hole. These blue neons are just badass. Alright, Mr. BP, you need to make up your mind whether you're gonna get over or you're going to stay in my lane and annoy me. And apparently the answer is you're gonna stay in my lane and annoy me. Now you got a reason to be out there You're trying to pass this guy in a dump trailer. And another one in front of it. Well, these guys are Oh, look, he's going to dip in. Don't even think about it. Or actually, you can think about it all you want, but don't do it. Now we're going to hide in these guys. You can get over there now, anytime. Or 
you can just be a dickhead riding the hammer lane. Why not? This guy having friends gotta be drunk. He's changed merged lanes like six times. We should be on I don't know, we're still going east to west, so it wouldn't be 81 just yet. Dude, for real, are you ever gonna... Apparently you just wanna ride there and piss me off. Well, you can stay out there in the fast lane, I'll pass you. Oh, there's three lanes now, perfect. Perfect. I've already sacked that guy. Welcome to New York, the Empire State. Alright, that's one down. I think we might have to go through Connecticut. This Rhode Island does kind of sit like piggyback down there, so. Definitely gotta. I'm glad to see that it's green up here and not white. I know uh, the East Coast has been getting hammered with snow. Particularly New York, so I'm glad that it's not affected here in the virtual world here. I think I did that, because that car just pulled out and said, screw you. And here we go with another slow, there you go. At least this guy knew what the hell to do, get the hell out of my way. Cruise back on. Keep rolling. Ah, uh, how cute. You got a John Deere. I've got a uh, Case Quad Track. I win. Big boy. Alright, so there's I-80, which that doesn't make any sense. And there's I-95. If that was the case, we should be going up I-95. get around this truck here because I do see that we have to get off this next ramp which should be for I-95 so I'll opt to take the safety lane through here just I didn't know what that truck was going to do there Closing in on the finish line here with this load. I wouldn't actually mind taking the load up to uh, Canada at this point. What'd you do? By more luck, that uh, means not hitting shit than yes. Oh look, welcome to New York again. Somehow we drove out of, teleported out of New York, and now we're back in New York again. I 
Now you see why I'm running the States. I can run these big ass loads and not have to worry about them sliding around corners and losing tons of speed and all that good stuff. Mainly the physics. Oh look, hey, I'm in Connecticut, I'm gonna drive by your house. Hey, I should drive by my house. Oh shit, I already passed it. Plus, I'm not on 95, I was on 84. Damn. Well, I could stop by my mom's old house up in Baltic. Well, of course it's not how Connecticut looks. Connecticut's like all covered in white and a bunch of assholes that don't know how to drive. I don't see anybody with their arms out the window flipping the bird to anybody. It's too bad I couldn't drive by Newtown and slap the shit out of Joey Logano. <laughs> That's right, the Connecticut State Troopers are a bunch of dicks. Especially when it comes to trucks. It's going to be interesting, where the hell are they going to need a case quad track in Providence, Rhode Island? Like... Is there a spot big enough in Rhode Island where you could actually use the damn thing? Or are they just doing it to have like a, a tractor penis or something? Is this, it doesn't, I don't know of many farms out in Rhode Island that would need a case quad track. Sucked. Tried to jerk the steering wheel out of my hand. Ah, Boston. Great, now I'm gonna have like some little Suzuki Grand Vitar or whatever the hell this thing is in my way. And if I'm in Connecticut, that should be a Guerrero tank line truck. I don't, actually, I don't know if they're still in existence. Very, very touchy today. That, or we might have some play in one of the wheels. But we're under 60 miles. Get the first load in the books here. Hopefully, uh, when we drag it into the destination facility here, we don't get the trailer hung up because it is pretty large, and if it's not a wide open gate, we might have some issues getting it in there. But this was a rather uh, short hop from Pennsylvania to Rhode Island. State. 
I-95, the eastern seaboard interstate, runs all the way from Maine down to Florida. That was only like a 400-something uh, mile trip. <laughs> if you're on 95, yes. If you're on 84, hell no. It takes a couple hours. Come on, guys, let me over. Thank you, chart. We roll up on our destination here, Providence, Rhode Island. Let's see what minuscule little hole they try to have us park this trailer in. we get the one guy who has to turn left. Oh, imagine that we're going from dole to dole. No, don't hit that car. Nah, it did. Damage, no period. So we got this big ass. Oh, it doesn't even say case, it says Casa. What the hell's Casa? Anyway, it's case quad track. How much that? They want it over there. Get it where I put it. Get that ass into the trailer in. There you go, perfect. Gotta get in here, shut these off, drop our trailer, and get our money, even though that trailer wasn't even straight. Oh, so we drove 513 miles, excuse me. Alright, what do we got here in Rhode Island for work? That's Maine. Uh, there we are. Connecticut. The butthole of Connecticut. Uh, we can go to Yellowknife. That, that's a uh, 3,493 mile trip. Yeah, no thanks. New Mexico, Colorado, Georgia. Well, shit. I guess we'll take this one over, another short trip over in uh, Perry Sound, Ontario. So, now we're going to go over into uh, the great land of Canada. Bounce. Air ride is such wonderful technology. Unless you're on I-81 in Pennsylvania where they have the road divided and every few feet your truck feels like it's beating the shit out of you. This thing just looks commanding driving down the road, that's what I like about it.
drive around here. We'll go over to Best Buy to get our load. Oh, she's got a turbo, all right. She's got one hell of a turbo. Why would it not have a turbo? IDI motor. Just because I'm awesome, I can hit up sideways like that. Hmm. So they want us to just drive around in a circle like we just did to come get this damn trailer that has the goofy little aerodynamic bearings on it. Probably just for a second. Yeah, I get tired of uh, trying to pull out of a uh, spot and get pecked by a car or a truck or, God forbid, I'm speeding. The Dalton's a little bit different because you really don't. That game, well, that map, more so is uh, very technical, so realistic, yeah. States here? Nah, we're, we're just doing this for fun. Fun drive. Wonder if I'll see rain. Wow, rain. Wayne Gretzky when we get to uh, Ontario. Medical marijuana. I saw the sign. There's only one reason to put a building up that has a green cross. Don't even think about it, truck. This is my turn. Oh, baby, you can do it. There you go. Any place I go is special if it's a high paying job. If the money's right, that's where we're going. Shit, I don't know if my lane ended or if the, yeah, that was my lane. Good call. So I think here shortly we'll make a jump over and then go into uh, one of the either it's gonna be a 400 numbered highway or something similar hopefully they don't stick me on two lanes now, I know if I do run a lot of Canada it will Take me over there. That's from Boston. We're going to be getting off this ramp right here. Some bumpy ass ramps. Can 
Now on I-90. This one's a slightly longer trip than the last one we took. Maybe by a couple hundred miles. Now let's get the uh, old cruise control set. Nope, I mean touching the mouse like an idiot. It's weird how sometimes the uh, driver's side uh, mirror will freeze and I'll have to toggle through the uh, Toggle through the uh, virtual mirrors to get them working. I like how this dark, well, this blue light in the cab is really, really dark. It's not overpowering like the uh, the green light was. That thing was, wow, kind of ridiculous. But the blue does look good and everything else. What the hell are we? Oh boy. That had no warning. Get over. Reinitiate that cruise control and keep rolling. Trying to see. No, there's no, no slack in that wheel. Now it's coming up on four in the morning. We can kill our high beams. And we'll be killing cruise control here momentarily. Come on, dude, you got three friggin' lanes and you're gonna be a dickhead. Now you can stay stuck out there in the fast lane. So I find other things to pass. Like this Porsche. Yeah, <laughs> Porsche got passed by. Ah, oh, he's getting off. That's fair. That one didn't count. Yeah, everybody's decided to get over to the slow lane, so I guess I'll merge over to the travel lane. And that lane will undoubtedly end. A lot of traffic coming uh, from westbound. Or east. Yeah, they're west. We're going west, they're headed east. We're kind of going to go over and up to get into Toronto. So farm over there. We have some heavy truck traffic here.
shit. Got a lot of plant around to squeeze in here. Pardon me. Thank you. Yeah, that Jeep is gonna do that. So we wanna go towards Albany and uh, Plattsburgh. Lay down. And that damn Jeep. At least he's gonna move. I hope that truck's turning because he ain't got the room to merge. Yep, I see an Albany there, Mr. Uh, Exxon. Now we're gonna keep heading up now. We're gonna keep going. able to cruise 400 something miles to go so we still have a pretty good ride that we have to take around uh, one of the Great Lakes here to get around to Toronto. I don't know why I didn't have us go up and over but you know shit happens. And that lane ends Nice blue peat though. Very nice blue peat. And when we get to Toronto, we'll do some uh, vehicle uh, maintenance because I can see it's starting to build up on the bottom there. It's probably about an eight or nine percent. Seriously, you, you had to pull your tundra right out in front of me. Hey, look, it's that red Jeep that flew around that one. Yeah, now you cut back in. How gracious of you, dude. Been trying to chase that ambulance the whole time. Best Buy trailer, so it's gotta be like electronics or something. <coughs> uh, well, office supplies, that could work. It is Best Buy. They do kind of sell office stuff, but not on the uh, <coughs> level like Staples or Office Max or Office Depot. Hell, I don't even know if those two companies even exist anymore, or even if Staples exists. They might have given away too many of those easy buttons and went out of business. So 6 in the morning, they're estimating that we'll be there at 2.15 in the afternoon. I've caught up to the ambulance. And now I'm tailgating the ambulance. because the ambulance is not moving faster than I want it to. I actually do kind of miss the, uh, miss the Dalton a little bit, but I do like the uh, interstate travel just as much. 
Dalton in summertime is interesting. Dalton in wintertime, absolutely insane. In this map, it's just a good mixture of both. You got long travel, short travel, a lot of cities. Do all 48 states plus Canada. So that, that's a winner there too, which is one of the main reasons why we decided to give our drivers the option to either do the continental states in Canada, which the real company does serve. On top of Alaska, they serve the United States and Canada. Or you could run just the Dalton if you want to, which I have to have a variety. I can't just do one thing all the time and drive me insane. I like the ambulances. Well, the ambulance was wanting to go. It was these other cars that were uh, holding them back. Look at that. Now we're going to go. That light's off. Normally I wait to about 7, 7.30 before I kill the lights, but since we are in the east and... I don't know. Technically they should be rising behind us. Either way. Make this run down I-90. main focus being on not damaging the cargo. Little stutters in the game. Stuttered. This ATS means quantum break. Hmm. A lot of the suspension and all those other vehicles acted uh, like it went over a big expansion joint, yet my truck didn't. Oh, we got that freaking rain back. Lights back on. Those are lows. Actually, you know what? Lights off. We'll just run our running lights. It's daytime. It's still a form of light. Nobody else has their lights on. Here's we're gonna be running in and out and in and out of rain. Hopefully the rain just stays as it drizzle like this. I'm ah, doing pretty good, how you doing? There's another you know, classic XL up there pulling an empty trailer, which is about the best a, uh, a Freightliner can do. Uh, we've got a load of office supplies, 
headed from Providence, Rhode Island to Toronto, Ontario, and we are in the legendary Viper 2 uh, Peterbilt 389. With a 605 chip tune Cummins N14, 18 speed tranny. Uh, I believe I went low on the gears. It's maxed out when it comes to heavy haul. But, of course you don't always want to run. Oh, Rochester, New York, been through there a million times. Well, Hound Dog's Carlisle skin on top of it. Buffalo and Niagara Falls. Uh, the wheel I'm running is a Fanatec CSL Elite base with the BMW GT2 rim. Shifters, the Fanatec SQ 1.5, and then on top of that, I have the SKRS uh, 18 speed shift knob. So I've got a full 18 speed range here. And then pedal wise, we're running a, a set of V3s from Fanatec. On car. I like it. I swear to God, that's a Prius with a wing. I'm gonna laugh. New York Racer fails. Is that it? Like the Sport Prius or something? Come on, catch back up this thing. I want to see it. Um, that's a fucking Prius with a wing. <laughs> Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, that is absolutely, that's the best thing I've seen so far. A Prius with a wing. Oh, that just made my day. I just love how when uh, Viper brought this truck back out with the help from a, a couple other guys that they added so much customization to this thing that's absolutely ridiculous. You can spend over an hour just trying to tweak it and put everything that you want on it exactly the way you want on it. I know I'm still not done with mine. I've got it pretty much where I want it at, but it's not 100% where, uh, where I want. Oh god, I'm not paying attention because I'm looking at live chat. I might end up killing somebody. Well, Evan, meet Evan, and Evan, meet Evan. What's up, Husky? Oh, now we're making some more turns. We might be getting, uh, might be getting some uh, two-lane action going on here. As much as I hate it, so we are getting off this exit. Oh, hey, Canada border. See, here's the thing with the Canada border. They love you a long time going in, going out. They give you a full prostate exam. <laughs> Toll of zero dollars paid. Oh yeah, get the thing down low. If I wasn't in Canada, that would be easily done. Welcome to Ontario, more to discover. Oh, so that would be uh, Route 3. I like that beautiful view of the water there. Now we're definitely skirting around that Great Lake. And I think we should be on 
think that the 400 or 401 or it should be a triple digit highway here. Viper 2's 389 is undoubtedly my favorite truck of all time. Been with me back since the old Dalton days and it'll continue with me to the new Dalton days. specific than that the one that the one that is linked down in the description of this video is the original it always has been always will be often replicated but never duplicated yeah the w9 with legacy is a really good truck but for some reason i just absolutely fell in love with the 389 when I first drove it due to the customization like this is a twin stick which is one of the options and now the fact that he, he brought it back out with like 5,000 more customizable items on the truck it just makes it that much more appealing but yeah I could I could agree with a, a W900 Legacy as well yeah this truck was uh, about that length too because I had it, the uh, long lower chassis on it we had to shorten her up though because uh, heavy haul with a uh, stretch frame not a good uh, combination almost feels like we're driving more in Minnesota than Canada because there's lake after lake after lake this is land of lakes The only thing I don't like about this truck is it does not have a functioning uh, odometer on it, so I can't really tell how many miles are on it unless I go into the garage manager and look. I actually kind of do look, like looking at the, uh, the mileage. That way I know how much I'm racking up on my trucks without having to go through the menu system. So now we are on a uh, 400 highway. I think this is the 403. Oh, mine was, as we all know, I like running the uh, the lime green. Now there's 401 there, so we are on what the 405, 403, 420. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's definitely freaking. I love stretch frames regardless, but for heavy haul, it's holy crap. This Toronto. I thought we were going to freaking Toronto. Oh, we're going to Perry Sound. My bad. That's why. So let's say there's there's Toronto there. Why aren't we going to Toronto? Because we're going to Perry Sound, Ontario. Uh, no. I I stream a multitude of games. ATS, uh, ETS2. Farming Sim, Farmer's Dynasty, uh, PUBG, iRacing, uh, Wolfenstein, Car Mechanic Simulator, Spin Tires. So I've got a ton of games. The most popular ones are obviously like Farming Sim and ATS, and recently like Farmer's Dynasty since it seems to be a uh, seems to be a new twist on the farming thing 
Every sub counts. We're making a goal to uh, expand the channel this year in 2018. I'm going to do my best to try and... We're, we're right there at the cusp of hitting 5,000 again. And uh, my goal is to double that this year, to get at least a 10,000. And to double pretty much everything. Which it's going to require a lot of... A lot of effort and work on my part, but I want to get this channel up and uh, see how far we can take this. Of course, all my uh, all my work here is predominantly well, all of it's live streamed. And we're resurrecting Carlisle back from the ground again after trying to get stolen away from us was never going to happen and it's why I'm out here driving right now so we'll take it once we get to Perry Sound we'll, we'll do a good 360 of uh, the old uh, the old 389 here uh, I really don't like the GPS in the dash thing that would be nice to have in this would be the uh, the computer or well, the, the dashboard that tells you all the differences holy shit yeah, there's a guy that I watch on uh, for gold rush uh, full tilt gaming that guy is nuts man he is hardcore into that game I also do have gold rush too as well haven't really uh, fooled around with it yet too much good lord thousand subs in three months do you have a secret vial of like holy water or something that we don't know about that exists if so I wouldn't mind a couple drops although if it's holy water I might burst into flames split in two that's the other one split in two I was trying to remember, and the first one that came to mind was uh, Full Tilt. But yeah, I've definitely watched a lot of uh, Split in Two videos. Holy crap, how did we get to 27 miles already? Wow, that is nuts. Come on, let me in. And there, yes, gas station and a service station. So we're about a half a tank, and I highly doubt we're going to have any good paying loads coming out of Perry Sound. Which now, come to think of it, would explain all the freaking uh, lakes and rivers that we've driven through. So you, look at that texture glitch there on the map. Oh, there it is. It finally loaded. I'm going to pull here into... Perry Sound. Oh, I love that sound of that Jake, Jake break. Good. Perry sound discovered. I love the mud flaps on this truck. The left one says passing side, the other one says suicide. So this load here will be going to Voltason.
gear, please. There you go. Uh, this is coast to coast with Canada Dream on it as well. Not a group, it's a, it's a virtual trucking company is what he's referring to. Damn it, anyone inside view? Where are we putting this pig? Let's go around the outside. So I guess Valtasan here is needing some office supplies. And this big bitch was the right truck for the job. Maybe I'll turn the jake brake off. We don't need that going to a uh, lot. I mm, think I might have just screwed myself. Oh no, because how the hell did I get that in there? I love the SKRS shifter. A lot of people have been talking a lot of mad smack about uh, CSIO, CSIO lately, saying that they paid for shifters and they've never gotten them. We might have to do uh, Mission Impossible here. My stupid ass came in the wrong way. We're gonna have to swing around and uh, redo this one because that was bad. We'll get lined up, backpack out, go around the building, do it the right way. It'll be the first time I've done this. Probably won't be the last either. Truck hat so we don't hit that uh, wall as we're backing up further. There we go. Get this sucker turned around. I want to see if I can get it spun on its axis when we get up here to the corner, which is why I'm hugging this side. If I can get this trailer to rotate. 180 around. That'll be the goal. Pop that curb there. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, I've uh, I've got the SKRS 18 speed. Yeah, buddy. There we go. That's what I needed. I should have came in from the, uh, the left side, but for some reason I drove around the right side like an idiot. Now look, we're perfect lined up. Let's see, I ordered my SKRS, uh, shit, when was it? A while back. And a while, I mean, probably over a year ago. And granted, it did take a while to get it. I did get it. It was expensive as hell. But in my opinion, if you are a diehard uh, trucking fan, then you then you want ultimate realism. Uh, SKRS is definitely where you get it from. Uh, all said and done with shipping, it was a, uh, I think it was $130. And it took me roughly about a month, month and a half to get it. Okay, this is going to be pretty good, a little bit more of a pain in the ass than I thought. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional idiot. I've spent many years doing this. He's all jacked up, can't see where I'm going. Am 
my truck's on something. Yeah, that, those would be crates. Come on, go, turn. At this point, I don't really care. Just turn it and get it in there. Kick it sideways. Oops. Ah, exactly. If you're the hardcore, uh... Hardcore truck driver, 130 bucks for the shifter is not really that bad. Especially if you intend to do a ton of trucking with it. Which I have done quite a bit with. Come on, just spin the tractor sideways, that's what I want. Just get me away from the other stuff. These are all techniques that you don't really want to do in real life. But they work really great in the, in the game here if you, you get to like a really jacked up uh, spot like we're at. Now, keep in mind, this is just a 53 foot trailer with a uh, regular frame. Uh, and this isn't, it's not even the big sleeper on here. So this is definitely a pain in the ass and we're somehow we haven't touched the other trailer yet, but I hate it when I mean, that's not really that long of a truck, but when you look at it in comparison to the fence here, there's the fence, which somebody's obviously hit multiple times, so there's a Swift, J.B. Hunt, or a Schneider that's been here before me. Then you look at where the trailer is, and look at where you've got to get it in. It is a bit of a bitch. See how I've got to get it around this jersey barrier. It's a blindside 180 around it, but you got to watch out for that damn curb, which is right there. If it was a day cab, I probably could have whipped it right in there like it wasn't nothing, but I don't drive day cabs anymore. That's the problem. Swift can't even go straight. Let's ride this trailer up on the... I just want to see what it looks like up on the, the barrier. Oh, that's hilarious. Did it do damage? Nope. So, that's... This is about the hardest fucking parking spot I've ever been in. Like, ever. So, I think what we'll do, since this is being a bitch... Straighten that view. We're so freaking close though. Damn it. Uh CRST yeah now Swift is probably the worst ever. Yeah, fuck this trailer, we're gonna whip it back around here. Not hit anything else with it. We haven't hit anything with the actual trailer. Yeah! Multitasking. The Canadians are laughing at me right now. They're like, oh, you can't drive. Alright, so what we're gonna do is get this goddamn trailer off. That was a pain in the balls. So we drove 663 miles. Survey says level 23. What are we going to do? We're going to go long distance, max that out. And we're going to go ahead and go to the shop. Uh, let's see. I did, who do I start with? I started with uh, Challenger, which that is absolutely garbage. Hey, Perry Sound, what do we got? Ooh, that's a long trip right there. Steel Coil, we're definitely taking that one. So Perry Sound was good for something. We're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna get to run the uh, Maximizer trailer. I got the, oh shit, now nah, I thought I had the green light. This thing 
We spun around. Alright, so, kill the ignition here. We'll do a quick little walk around. Yeah, your passing side and suicide mud flaps. The decking, I I put the uh, the rear lights on there. Now our light bar, that is my favorite part, the headache rack. It's got the beacons and the Whelan Edge V2. Airlines, we've got our uh, gen set and our air conditioning. We've got a six, technically it's a 605, but it's a 600 horse Cummins N14. Some eight inch straights. The customary Holland ass front grill, which I have to have. And usually I just have the flying goddess up there, but I had to go with the, uh, the grab handles too. And my favorite thing is the new look of the headlights here. He actually made it to where like when you turn them on, it's almost like a halo projection style. And the other big thing is the different colors he has now for the uh, the marking lights. So obviously with this being Carlisle, it's going to be blue. But we'll go ahead and get this thing serviced, head over to Coastline, get hooked up, and we're going to make our way down to uh, Nolens. We got it repaired. We're good to go. Let's get the hell up out of here and on our way to Coastline. Throw Jake back on. We can easily start in third gear here. Third to fifth. Fifth to seventh. Hi, cop. And we're also going to want to get fuel. They are, they're most known for the ice road, but they do do the uh, United States as well as Canada. That's why we have two divisions. You have your choice with the VTC to either run the ice road map, which is Dalton Highway. You can run that if you would want to. Or you can uh, do the 48 states in Canada. I like mixing it up because I like variety better. It's not on the coast to coast. It's a uh, you can find that on the SES forums, but that is one of the maps that we run along with the coast to coast map with uh, Canada Dream on it. But we do run both. You have your choice of running either, either or. We don't push anything on any of our drivers. And unlike other VTCs, we don't make them start off in bitch trucks. You start with whatever the hell you want. Now this truck, this is the only one that'll fit underneath this Maximizer trailer. Um, I know Evan does uh, streaming of the Dalton. Oh, what the fuck? We only have one coil on here? We could easily fit three on this trailer with all the axles. He does, uh, he's doing the Dalton currently, I think. Or, uh, he, hell, he might have jumped back over to coast to coast by now, but, uh, there's a wall there, idiot. Actually, that's a bucket of a uh, loader. If I didn't have to downgrade the game to 1.28 to play it, I would. I'm waiting for uh, Hawks to uh, update the uh, version. That way it's 1.29 compatible. And then I'll probably be jumping into the summer version of the map. Seeing how I've done so many episodes on the, uh, the winter version of it. Where was that fuel station? We were definitely headed there. Right, so it's 1,500 miles. I 
Shit, it's only 1,500 miles from here to New Orleans from Perry Sound, Ontario. I like how much we have in Canada all the US flags is just place with the maple. Hey, easy there with the trailer, dude. You were kind of overshooting. Why are you guys all... There you go. Alright. No, you ain't turning, car. This is going to be fun to get this trailer up in here. Spin it. Oh, yeah, what is this called? Petrorama or something? Oh, Petro Canada. Uh, 281, I think, I uninstalled. Yeah, let's see how much this thing's going to take. We're roughly at about a eh, half tank. 155 gallons, and I'm gonna quickly run inside the uh, convenience store here, grab some snacks and a big gulp, and uh, pee all over the urinal, and then we'll make our way from Perry Sound here to uh, New Orleans. Man, they have some really good snacks inside of that uh, gas station. And, most importantly, they had Tim Hortons. I love Tim Hortons coffee. I 
I used to watch Jeff all the time. I actually have, uh, I've raced with him uh, several times on iRacing. And then I think he kind of just like stopped doing his iRacing videos. Seems like the new craze for all these big, uh, the big name streamers now is doing like the Department of Justice stuff on uh, GTA 5 with the LS PDFR mod. Sissel's night at pack before. Well, that was for the Cascadia. But I know it works cross platform on other trucks as well. If it rains, I'm gonna be screwed because they did not tarp my uh did not tarp my trailer. No, sadly I was I've been into this way, way before he was ever around, but I don't throw thousands of dollars into equipment for just streaming, so I stay a relatively uh, small fish in the YouTube world, and I hate, emphasis on the hate, doing the whole record a video and then upload it because you have no interaction with other people whatsoever which drives me nuts now the only time that interaction really doesn't come into play for me with live streaming is usually if I'm calling a race because I have to do so much already that it's just too much to do or if I'm playing or streaming PUBG I usually don't even look over at the uh, comment section because I'm too busy trying to quote unquote be tactical with uh, whoever I'm playing with but games like this hell yeah I could not stand to do like a 36 minute video and I don't understand that how do you do a 36 minute video and then that's it. I, I just don't get it. I don't I understand how he can make a 36 minute video and it has like 40,000 views. It's literally just driving from one city to another. Oh boy, what are we doing here? I'm driving across the country. I didn't like it. I don't know. That's that's kind of what I thought. The stars, like maybe he had a lot of bot views, which that's kind of pathetic if you have to do that. But I don't know. A lot of people have really busted their asses to get where their channel's been at. And they put a lot of work into it because they hit. They, they do a ton of research on demographics and know exactly what niche is going to fit or what genre is going to fit what age group they're trying to target. I'm not trying to target anything particularly. Exactly. I'm not trying to target anything. I'm not trying to be like anybody. If anything, I think I'm probably one of the most abstract streamers that there is because I really don't give a shit it's pretty much uh, I feel like doing this today so we'll do this and we'll see who comes along for the journey I like my stuff being unscripted I don't like sitting through all the editing and rendering and all that processing phases of 
production, so I just do this. That's a game that I really, uh, if I didn't have PUBG, I would definitely, I've heard a lot of good things about Fortnite. Which is basically just a cartoony version of PUBG, but it's extremely popular. And another, what the hell is with all these huge streamers doing Cuphead? That game looks so damn dumb. That's what happens when you try to set your copy down there. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I've played a lot of PUBG. I couldn't agree with you more. Cuphead looks like the dumbest damn game I've ever seen in my life. Like, okay, it's like an old fashioned retro, old school cartoony type thing, but seriously, what the fuck? Like, all these big namers are doing it. And that's another thing that I've noticed too that kind of bugs me is uh, a lot of these big guys get these shit games and they get paid to to hype up the game and when the, the 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 game actually gets released to the public it's a flaming pile of dog shit but eh, they don't care they got they got paid for uh, promoting it i mean you've got the good and then obviously you've got the rotten apples that's it's gonna be everywhere you go but I mean, mainstream YouTube is kind of, uh, it, it's, it's gone pretty much the direction of Cuphead, retarded. Yeah. I mean, I could see that game being fun for all of about five minutes. And then I'd be like, okay, uninstall. Why did I waste my money on that? Oh god. No, 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 no. Like, see, th there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of guys out there that I have a ton of respect for. Like, Daggerwin, uh, TC, they all do, uh, and it used to be Spears too, but it just got to where Spears started just doing weird stuff, man. Like, he did a ton of fun stuff with uh, BeamNG. But I can't stand when they just get hooked on stuff that's given to them. And then they just plug the living shit out of it. And then when I see, like, just for example, if I'm browsing Steam, and the game finally came out and it's got garbage reviews. I'm like, oh really? You hyped the hell out of this game saying it was awesome. What you, we saw on stream was awesome, so what the hell's the difference between what you got and what everybody else just paid for? It's honestly that, uh, was it that house flipping game? That looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mind since I like doing the whole building and construction thing, I would love to, when that house flipper game comes out, and definitely Far Cry 5, that'll, thank God that's next month, that's definitely on the list of buys for sure, <clears throat> since we'll finally be in America with Far Cry, I believe it's supposed to be in Montana, so that, that'll be fucking awesome. And see, that's what it's all about. It's all about the interactions with live chat. I can't stand it when there's nobody in here talking. And then I just feel like I'm obligated to become some like autonomous robot that's just spouting out random bullshit just so it's not a dead silent stream with just the engine sound. I always, 
and it shows a lot that you'll see me like do this or oh shit wrong lane because I'm looking over on my other monitor to look at the live chat so I can talk to you guys that's the main reason why I do the live stream is I love the social interaction with you guys and that's why I uh, absolutely despise recording videos and then uploading them because you have no interaction I mean I guess it works for some people but I have to have that live interaction otherwise I go insane it's just no fun and hell a lot of times I'll play a game and if it's say uh, let's just use uh, I don't know why YouTube does that shit let me safely pause so I can read this one you did it five to oh yeah fuck that yeah, no, I don't plug, I don't push donations on anybody. There's the super chat is there. If I'm doing a good enough job and you feel like donating to the channel, then that's more power to you. But I'm not gonna push that down anybody's throat. I'm not gonna. Oh, well, I'm gonna extort you just so I talk to you. Hell no. Because that's exactly what that is. That's extortion. Super Chat is a nice function, and that just allows people that, if they like what you're doing, they can support the channel. What's going on, brother? Now, see, I don't expect a damn dime from anybody. This is a hobby. Well, it's more than a hobby. This is my passion right here, so I'd do it just... I'm happy with just the, the minuscule amount of money that I make off of uh, the uh, all the YouTube uh, well it was Google AdSense but I switched that a long time ago going north you mean uh, going up into Canada or uh... Like we're getting held up by a fucking Sunoco tanker. Come on, get your ass in gear, dude. My my brakes aren't gonna hold for forever. ZFG on that intersection. I hope nobody was coming. And I have a feeling that this lane is gonna end. Nope. Uh, no, nah, this is a travel lane. I should have hammered it earlier. Look, it's like a pull-off spot. Oh no, that, that now becomes our, uh, that's our extra special uh, travel lane. But no, getting back to the, the, that whole thing, I would never extort anybody to make you pay to freaking talk. That's, that's like a double slap in the face. How's our fuel situation? All right, we're good on fuel. We're just gonna keep, uh, uh oh, what do we got going on here? Red work ahead. Which lane is it? It's as always, the right lane. I see, I don't get it. Usually, some, what was it? My high, uh, the highest viewed videos have seemed to be, uh, thanks for the delayed turn signal there, buddy. Uh, the highest watched lately seems to be Farmer's Dynasty, and then it was, uh, FS17 and Car Mechanic Simulator before. ATS, uh, during the Dalton, when I had that going, that was the biggest. But, I don't know, it, it's just really hard. When you do so many different games, it's hard to please everybody and please yourself at the same time. It's like, you want to play a specific game, but you know that nobody's going to watch it.
That's why I have a Steam Link. I can play all those games from the comfort of my own bed. The ultimate in laziness. I mean, hell, I could even stream from there if I wanted to. But, no, I, I play what you guys want to see. I mean, it's the only thing that if you want to get views and you want to be able to do this social interaction and stuff, that's the only way to do it. Now, see, that's why I picked the games that are kind of more, I guess, not as popular or whatever. I mean, there's a shitload. Dude. There's probably 100,000 people that fucking stream ATS. There's a billion people that stream PUBG, or as we uh, affectionately call it, Pube. I swear that's like the world's most toxic gaming community, but it's so fucking fun. I'm surprised some of my uh, streams of that have not been banned due to other players using racial slurs in the, the game lobby, but on the same side, it's not coming out of my mouth, so it doesn't really bother me. It's, it doesn't bother I live in the South. I hear that word on a daily freaking basis, and I know the true meaning of it. Just people are fucking stupid. I thought, I looked over that sign and I thought it said America. I was about to go, fuck yeah. Now, what these idiots don't realize is that word has nothing to do with the skin color. It, it defines the way a person acts. They're just too ignorant to understand. And the way that this country has gotten Lately, everybody is so over fucking sensitive about every goddamn thing. Oh, he farted next to me. That I'm offended by that. Now well, my ass is offended as your face is right next to me. That's why I farted. Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to my safe place. Oh, this guy has a gun that has more than seven rounds in the magazine on it. That's an assault pistol. He shouldn't have that, it needs to be taken away, or... Oh no, he has an AR-15, that's, that's an assault rifle. No, it stands for armor light rifle, you retard. Oh, what are you gonna do? Why do you need 30 rounds in a, uh... In, a, in an extended magazine? What are you gonna do, go on a mass shooting spree? No, I just don't wanna have to reload every two fucking seconds. It's not fully automatic, it's a semi-auto. Guns don't kill people, bullets don't kill people, idiots behind the trigger with that shouldn't own them kill people. You're 100% right. And every time some dumb bastard with a clean record, or hell, even somebody who's a complete, total Fruit Loop, gets their hands on a gun and shoots somebody, we all get fucked and we all get stereotyped. Yeah, liberals. The liberals, th this is the problem. We have all these people out there that are just literally giving the liberals so much cannon fodder to throw at us and label all of us as unsafe, impractical, uh, domestic terrorists. The, I mean, just the extreme, that, that's on the extreme leftist side. I've actually been called a terrorist for shooting assault rifles. Like, dude, this is America, man. It's, number one, I got the First Amendment, which is fucking freedom of speech, and number two, I have the Second Amendment, which is the right to bear arms, so. Um, you're not taking anything from me, and you're not gonna tell me I can't own this, or I can't, you know, I have to have a limit on how many guns I own, or. I mean, Tennessee, luckily, the great thing about this state is you don't need a permit to open carry. You can walk around anywhere in the state, well, other than obvious places like churches, government buildings, schools, shit like that. Uh, America Fuck Yeah is from uh, a movie. Uh, oh shit, what the fuck was it? Is that cartoony ass one? Uh, Team America. But no, I mean, Tennessee, you can walk around with a loaded handgun 
on your side, as long as it's clearly visible, you can carry it all day long. Yes, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. That was uh, Team America. America, fuck yeah! Fake tits, fuck yeah, porno! Oh, look, I should get over. Now, if you're concealed here, meaning you so much as accidentally have your shirt over the gun, that goes from open to concealed, and you do have to have a CCP for that. But as long as you've got your shirt tucked in, whatever, and the gun is 100% clearly visible, you do not need a permit to carry a handgun in Tennessee. But it just makes sense. If you're already a uh, legal owner and you can buy handguns and all that stuff, or you can buy firearms, period, it's a no-brainer to go ahead and just do the concealed carry, get the permit. That way it, it doesn't matter if you're uh, open carrying or you're concealing. That's why I'm, I just went instantly for the, the conceal. That way if my shirt was to flip over and somebody wanted to be a liberal retard, I'm like, oh, do you have a concealed carry permit? Because that shirt's half covering the gun. I open my wallet and I show them the car, like, yeah, it's right there. Go fuck yourself. Damn it, couldn't get my finger down there on the uh, paddle shifter to turn my turn signal on. I had coffee in one hand and I was trying to make, execute that pass with the other hand. Does that mean I passed swift training? But no, I mean, guns, that's, especially being down in the Bible Belt, man, that is, oh my God, I get hammered with everything, political debates, gun debates, religious debates, it's never fucking ending. I mean, there's some special kinds of stupid down here. Yeah, you, I think that's all, uh, almost, uh, all 50 states. Well, let's put it this way, all non-liberal states you do not need to have a uh, permit to own rifles, shotguns, musket loaders, and uh, semi-auto rifles. Now, you can, and I've had people argue, I don't know why they've argued this. They've argued that you legally cannot own a fully automatic weapon. Yes, you can. You pay a $250 federal tax stamp per gun you can own a fully automatic. Why you would want to own a fully automatic, I don't know because that's just putting a giant fucking bullseye on your ass. I can do more damage with a uh, semi-auto than I could a full. A semi, you're in control of the recoil. Full automatic, that fucking thing's gonna be dancing all over the place. Maybe that's why all these dumbasses use fully automatic weapons. They can't aim for shit, so they just work, uh, depend on the bullet. The bullet's pattern and the drop and the fall off and the spray just going everywhere. And uh, that's how they 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 get lucky and uh, tag more people than they originally tried to. Oh, uh, Coast to Coast is a big file. Make sure it is version 2.3. That would be a big reason why it's crashing. 2.3 and then when you do download that and you go into your mod manager. Hey Scott, thanks for the compliment. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, we're kind of on a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, some would say a risky topic. We, we get on the uh, topic. It seems to be a lot in this channel. We get on the topic about gun, gun laws and just stupid people in general but we're we're still uh, talking about all these uh, idiots that either are going out shooting shit out of people it's 2.3 uh, it might be 2.3.4 it should be the latest one that was on the newest one on there just look at the date
Because I know the uh, Canna Dream that I had to get was 2.4, I think? Because it had to supersede the version of Coast to Coast in order for that to work. As long as you put that, uh, the Coast to Coast map as the highest priority, if you don't have any other, uh, any other map mods in there, put Coast to Coast as the highest priority, you should be fine. Just put it at the very top of the mod manager, you should be good to go. Oh yeah, I feel bad for you, especially, uh, with, uh, Jersey, a, a really, really close friend of mine was uh, born in Jersey, he lives over in Pennsylvania now, and uh, it's not too much better over there, both being, uh, well, pretty much, you can just stick the whole Northeast as uh, libtard states. I think Maine's the only one that you probably could say is not so bad, because they did legalize, uh, they legalized marijuana there, so, or decriminalized, I should say. You can have all those mods, just make sure that the, uh, the map is at the very, very top and you, you'll be straight with it, because that's how I've got it in mind. Now, if you start throwing other map mods in, you gotta... Do, I'm hoping they legalize it down here. I mean, it's hard with it being a, a, a Bible bill. If you get any other map mods, just make sure that you follow the order that it says to you on whatever other mods or map mods that you tried to get just follow the uh, loading order instructions for that otherwise you will get non-stop crashes but being in the south and being a bible state I think it should I don't see why the hell it's even illegal to begin with I think they should outlaw alcohol seeing how I've never, uh, never once in my life have I heard anybody being killed by a, uh, a stone driver. Now, you look at the national averages on how many people are killed by drunk drivers every year. That right there should be proof enough alone to say, alright, you know what? I think we might be, uh, we might be a little bit fucked up here and, uh, we're, we've, uh, legalized something that, uh, kills people and kills people that aren't doing it, they could never have touched it a day in their life, they still can die because some idiot can get behind the wheel drunker than shit and run them over. Now, I don't know about you, but fuck, when, when, anytime I've ever driven stoned, I was more freaking, uh, I was more alert and more aware of my surroundings than ever. I thought, I, like, 35 miles an hour felt like I was doing 110. I mean, you're super aware of your surroundings. As long as it's not like super like fall down, laugh at the trash shit where you don't even want to move. But then again, what's wrong with that? Oh, yeah, see, exactly. Right there, that's proof. The states that have legalized it, the drunk driving rates have dropped. The crime rates are going down. But, oh no, do we, uh, they're stuck on, here, here's the problem. This is, this is the crossroads that they're stuck at. What do we want to do? Do we want to bring in a lot more, uh, money on a federal level by charging these people to, uh, they have to pay for a card to go get, to be able to buy? medical or even recreational use or do we stick with the big brewing companies that are paying taxes in that we're giving tax breaks to just like the pharmaceutical industry that's the biggest reason the pharmaceutical industry is the main reason why marijuana has not been legalized who wants to shut down the big pharma companies the government sure as fuck doesn't because then that's going to also impact all the uh, health insurance companies which they all have their hands on the dicks of the politicians. So when you look at it, one simple little plant that can help millions and millions of people is being restricted by the government because big pharmaceutical companies and the government doesn't want to fucking lose money over a simple little plant that they could still make money off of 
by legalizing it and if everybody wants to smoke pot I mean look at the rates about a uh, like opiate addiction or fucking oxys hydrocodone loratab xanax all these prescription pills all this shit would go down then yeah exactly the textile crops hemp hemp is some of the strongest fucking rope i've ever used natural rope too no synthetic shit used no plastic no polymers nothing that's toxic to the environment hemp will biodegrade over time so we're talking about a plant that literally has like a dozen at least a dozen that coil's a little heavy and we were about to tip over there see exactly look at that I mean for the longest time and let's let's back it down to even a dumber level uh, the light pack I'm just using the uh, if you mean like the uh, the cabin lights and all that shit that that's all part of Viper 2's truck all these lights that you see the blue lights those are all part of Viper 2's they're all options that you unlock further up in levels it's just in the exterior customization but bring it down to even uh, a dumber level than even pot and I, I forgot hey we're in K Kentucky great great let's try and get through Kentucky as fast as we can take it easy husky ah all right there we go bring it down to even a dumber level for the longest time the state of Tennessee refused to have a lottery People would have to drive to Kentucky, all kinds of shit, just to, to get like a Powerball ticket or whatever. Once they finally uh, legalized the lottery, we've put millions and millions into the school systems here in Tennessee. Unfortunately, it still hasn't unfucked the systems. They still, uh, looking back at it now, uh, Jesus Christ, 20... This is show my age. 2021 will be my uh, 20th reunion. Which I didn't go to my 10 year reunion. No plans on going to my uh, 20 year reunion because I didn't like most people I went to school with then. Probably still wouldn't like them 10 years later and I damn sure wouldn't like them 20 years later. If I like somebody, they're on, uh, I keep in contact with them. But we thought we had it bad when we were in school. Now looking at it, this was way before that the, the common core bullshit. I mean, my kids have brought shit home. I'm like, hey, dad, can you help with the homework? I'm like, is it common core or is it regular? Yes, I graduated in 01. I was supposed to graduate in 2000. I really, really, really wanted to be the millennial one, but, uh, due to my birthday being in January it flipped it over to where I it was 2001 but I actually got uh, got out at 17 I didn't have to stay around until 18 I hope Trump does something because I mean I voted for him but uh, honestly he hasn't really done shit as to what he said he was going to do does that motorcycle have snow chains on his tires? I think that crowd truck has snow chains on it, his uh, rear tire. That or he's just does the, the uh, belt showing. Oh, we're going to have to get over here too because we're going to have to make this. Uh... Oh, God, I almost killed. Captain Crotch Rocket back there. But no, I mean, we, we thought we had it so fucking bad, and now I look at that same school, and it's, I mean, their rates have just gone down the shitter. And that's, a, that's another big thing, too. Mainstream media, you cannot fucking believe a single thing they say. The main thing that I look at is the coal industry in West Virginia was dead. Now look at it. 
It's thriving again. <laughs> Fake news. The coal industry is thriving again. The railroads are back up and running hauling coal out of the mines in West Virginia. New railroad tracks are being put in. That didn't happen under the Obama administration. Now I've actually got some, uh, I've got some friends in West Virginia. I'm in Tennessee. I'm actually a half hour uh, northwest of uh, Nashville. I'm in between Nashville and uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. <clears throat> About half an hour each way. Dude, you, you've got to get back over. Keystone Light Truck, you're drunk. Yeah, that was the smartest thing you could have done was pull over. He was drunk. How in the hell did you guess it? That's like a one... Nobody, nobody knows that fucking county. Nobody has ever guessed the county is. Ah, that's why. <laughs> yep. He's on the other side of the river, though. He's on the Harpet side. I'm over past uh, the other side of Ashland City, going up towards, like, Henrietta and going towards the Clarksville line. I've actually met him quite a few times. He's... Ryan's... Uh, really cool dude he's definitely uh he's not full of bullshit he's a very unique person and he the one thing i can give him is 100 percent real yeah that's the first time i've ever seen uh the first time I've ever seen Cheatham County ever referenced. Um, I don't think we'll be doing one today. I do have a race coming up later tonight that is going to be broadcasted. Uh, the Die Hard Racing League is going to be running the uh, K&N cars at Pocono tonight. And uh, that's the league that I first, uh, first got to... Uh, well, I joined when I came back to iRacing and I never left them. And yeah, I, I basically I broadcast. I'll call the race. I've got uh, my buddy uh, Mike Major who was with me last night when we covered Cyber Racing's K and N series. Me and Mike take care of that and get uh, take care of all that for Cyber. Yes, I do get paid to do it, and any other uh, any other league besides Die Hard, I do get paid to, to broadcast those, but uh, when Seth, the league owner at Die Hard, asked me how much I wanted, I told him to take his money and shove it up his ass. I wasn't racing this season because I did the, the tracks weren't my uh, specialty, so I was like, I'll just broadcast it. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's my part of doing the league. Oh, look, we're in Indiana, which we should, if we were going to New Orleans, logic would have dictated that we would have gone south down 65 from Louisville and then uh, run through Nashville, down through Alabama, and then cut over into, uh, I don't know. This is supposed to be the fastest way, so whatever. We're taking the fastest route, according to the GPS. Come on, log truck. We're all trying to go here. Uh, with this map, they're about as close as you're gonna get for a game. I mean, Mantra did an amazing job putting this map together. Not all the interstates line up perfectly like they're supposed to do, or they're not all exactly the correct interstate in the correct place, but nobody uh, ever, uh, it, it'd be extremely hard to map 
the 48 states plus uh, the guys that did, did do the Canada Dream map. That's asking a lot to get them. Oh, I see what we're doing now. We're going around Louisville, and we are on 65. So this is this is kind of right. Oh shit! Now we got to use the uh, auxiliary truck lane here. Oh, trust me. The the, the only reason why he uh, uh oh this car's back to the auxiliary lane. The only reason why uh, we're even on the map is because of people like him. Otherwise, we're just another ink stain on a map. Like, literally, just being outside of Ashton City Limits, the town I live in is considered uh, Cheap Hill, and I think there's maybe 500 people that live there. Sounds familiar because when I drove for TMC, obviously they're uh, headquartered in Des Moines. Oh God, I've been been through there. I've been to Troy, Iowa. Radiators. <laughs> Radiator Springs. I've had the misplaced of actually driving through Chicago. Hey, Walmart. Mm, look at the rain textures on the road. Damn it. Keep looking around. And once again, the rain doesn't seem to last long. So actually, I think we are gonna be coming down through Tennessee. I think this is actually gonna make sense, even though right now we still are in Eastern time. We will flip to Central time. <clears throat> but I do believe that if we're on 65 still, and we're in Kentucky, we're coming up to the Tennessee border pretty quick. Let's see just exactly what this guy's gonna do. He's got a bigger cable than I do, but mine's a steel coil. He's got steel cable. Uh, right now we are hauling a, what the fuck is it? It is a big ass 63,934 pound steel coil. Uh, if I go to Paducah, that'd be I-24, which ironically that's, I live off the I-24 corridor. Well, technically I-24 and I-40, seeing how the, the county is longer than it is wide. If you live up south, or if you live in the southern end of the county, on the other side of the uh, Cumberland River, you're on the I-40 corridor. Or, yeah, fuck me, I can't even talk. Or, you're on the I-40 corridor. If you are on the, the uh, north side of the river, like Ashton City, Pleasant View, Chapmansboro, Cheap Hill, Henriette, all that, you're on the uh, I-24 corridor. It should be I-75 in Georgia, but I don't think we're gonna go that right. I think we're gonna stay uh, 65 from Louisville down through Nashville, then we'll go down into uh, Mobile, Alabama, and then if this should play out like it's supposed to, we'll take 65 all the way down to either 20 or 10, and then cut over. Because I know, we're going to have to get down to I-10, and you can make it that way, of course. Oh, dude, uh, unfortunately, I, I have driven through the heart of New York City, and I fucking hate it. I see, I may be in Tennessee now, but uh, I was born and raised 
in a shithole little town called Danbury, Connecticut. First town over the state line on I-84. I stayed there till age 11 and then we moved down here in, uh, what was it, 93? And we moved down to get away from all my fucking family and then they end, all end up moving down here. Actually, no, the real reason we moved down here is because we used to take vacations to uh, like Opryland and shit in Nashville before that went to hell and they turned it into a mall. We just fell in love with the area. We took several vacations down here and then eventually decided that we wanted to move down here. So we found a house and packed our shit up, sold the house in Connecticut and got the hell out. Plus, a, roughly a uh, 13 hour drive. Then my mom lived for the longest time up in uh, Baltic. So that was a pain in the ass to drive from here. I wouldn't mind Arizona except for all the fucking dust storms and North Carolina having to deal with hurricanes. either did uh, I think the best cover of uh, Careless Whisper ever done I mean I think it's better than the original version that uh, George Michaels did just like uh, Kill Switch Engage did the best cover of Holy Diver I don't want to live anywhere where there's a fucking risk of a hurricane coming through and taking me out or an earthquake or a wildfire or any of that shit I'm perfectly happy in the south where people can't drive worth the shit when it snows. I can, as I drove around. I, yeah, tornadoes, I'm, I'm completely fine with tornadoes, because where I live at, it's so damn hilly that a tornado would never have a chance of holding up. So this has got to be coming up on Nashville, so this might be the I-24 split. Or the I-40 split. It's I-40, so this should be Nashville we're coming into. But I didn't see a uh, Tennessee sign. Unless it. We drove by it and just weren't paying attention. But that is I-40, so... I, honest, actually, where I-40 and I-65 cross, that is Nashville. Like, literally, Nashville. And I think we're fixing to roll into it right now. This is in Nashville. I will get out of my race rig and I will jump out my window. Yep, it's Nashville. Still haven't gone in there and discovered it yet. Oh, Nashville discovered. Yep, bye Nashville. One day I'll return. But for now, we're going down to New Orleans. Uh, shit, is it still Nissan Stadium? I think it's, uh, yeah, it's Nissan Stadium. Yeah, that, that place has changed names more than, uh, more than Marcus Mariota changes his underwear. Should've. Actually, I-24, you would, well, no, 65, 24, uh, I forget where the split happens, which one becomes the predominant one. It used to be, I think it's 24 now. 65 and 24 split off on the north side of Nashville. And then 40 comes in from the south side, goes around the loop, and there used to be 265 that bridged 40 to 65. where you'd go around Trucker's Curve and then there was the split for 40, 40 and 65 on the southeast side of Nashville and then you go around the loop further and you come to the 40-24 split. You take 40 west and that'll run you out to uh, the airport. 
Uh, no, 265 is literally just a loop around, uh, 265 is literally an interstate that's only, that was only about, like, four miles long. It connected 40 to 24, just went around the, uh, the west side of Nashville. It was the dumbest thing ever. 65 will take you down to Alabama. 24 will take you down to Georgia because you'll meet up with 75. Uh, if I hit a car on here right now, seeing I have traffic offenses turned off, nothing will happen other than I'll damage my truck and somebody will virtually die in a car. But if uh, traffic offenses and all that was turned on, not only would my truck get damaged, I'd get hit with a $900 vehicle uh, crash offense fine. Just like I'd probably be getting, I would have been smacked with a billion speeding tickets already by now. I've got traffic violations turned off, fatigue simulation turned off, just so I, I can keep flying. Uh, 285 goes around Georgia, that's the uh, bypass. You got uh, 75 being the eight lanes of hell that run through Atlanta. And then 285 goes around Atlanta, does the loop over by the airport. Cause that's over by like Kennesaw and shit. Yeah, they did away with that 265 a long ass time ago. I think it's just I-40 now or it meets in or I-65, right? They've changed it so many damn times, it's, it's ridiculous. Oh, I've, I, every once in a while, I've got a profile that's strictly just for fucking around with, where I'll ride in the middle of the highway, I'll do dumb shit like this, and, oh, hey, look, let's go over here and see how this land of traffic's doing over here. Slam people head on, but with the coast to coast map, when you tow, if you don't have a shit ton of money, you'll run out of it really quick, but, that's what they make things for like cheat engine you can boost your money boost your uh, experience points all that good stuff yeah 75 to Georgia sucks well through Atlanta now like right here do 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 log jam let's just go through here da 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 thanks for clearing it up it, when you put the right mods in this game is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's even good on uh, just the uh, stock four states. I mean, you don't have all this wide open freaking road, but you have a lot more interaction because it's all SCS's content, which is a hundred times the detail level as this, but... It'd be kind of hard to go stupid high detail on a map that covers all 48 states and not have it to where it crashes your computer or you have to have a uh, NASA certified computer just to run it. Mine seems to handle it just fine. We've driven pretty much through the night. We left out of uh, Perry Sound, Ontario. And so far we have done no damage to the truck or the trailer. That 3% there is just uh, wear and tear from road. Um, my computer was custom built. I custom built it for iRacing, which is very demanding. So, if it can run Eyes Racing, it can run pretty much any of these uh, Steam games. Processor-wise, I went with a... Uh, I, looking back now, I should have went with the i7 7700K. Just because it has four virtual cores versus my i6600, which is an i5. And it doesn't have the virtual cores, but nonetheless, the i5... Five uh, 6600K stock clock on that is 3.5. We overclocked mine to 4.6. So 
stable. Board, I'm running a MSI Z170A SLI Plus, which supports DDR4 RAM. I've got 16 gigs of Corsair LPX Vengeance, 3000 read speed. Uh, graphics card is an NVIDIA, or an EVGA NVIDIA 1070 Super Clock. It depends on your uh, internet connection. Like, uh, I don't remember how long it took for me to download the Coast to Coast. And I know the Canon Dream one only took me a few minutes, because it was 66 meg. Alright, there, I was right, I-20. That's what we're going to drop down to. But back to the computer, uh, I've got a 1000 watt power supply, because I did have a, uh, before I put this GPU in, I had a uh, MSI R9390. Which needed a 150 watt pin connector and a 50 watt. So that's why I bought the 1000 water. And now this with the ATX or ACX, whatever the hell it is, cooling. It's got the same double pin. Uh, let's see, on top of it for a cooler, I, I wanted to go water cooling, but don't really trust it enough yet still. EVGA is making everything to where it's quick disconnect and everything is self-sealed, so the next computer I build will be fully water cooled. And it'll be all uh, EVGA. But my case has ports for water cooling to be run, so that I won't have to change cases. Uh, I've got two 4 terabyte platter drives, a uh, 256 gig Samsung solid state drive. Uh, trying to think what else I threw in that computer. Oh, the uh, cooling system on it since it's not water cooled, I went with a Noctua DH15 big ass freaking dual radiator system with pusher fans on it. Right now, my GPU is sitting comfortably at 44 degrees Celsius, and my board is at 43 degrees Celsius, which is right around 103, 104 degrees. It fluctuates, but well, well below the uh, thermal throttles. I think that's what, uh, let's see, I, I used, used about three or four different uh, Dell computers, and then I had this old HP Pavilion. I built that up. A little cheap. Uh, actually, I still have that one. It's got a GTX 560 in it, an old AMD uh, X650 processor. Now, that thing belongs in the, the Smithsonian. It's so old. But it still works. That's, that's the scary part. It still works. Um, I built a couple computers that are HP based, just the tower, because they built them for people because they didn't want to go all in on a, uh, building all the components from scratch, and like I told them, I was like, look, by the time you get done with all this shit, the money that you're going to spend beefing up a pre-built computer, because you have to rip pretty much all of it apart and replace it, you're cheaper off just rebuilding or buy or building your own damn computer. But the customer's always right. I don't argue it. And then when they get pissed because they spent more money, all I do is like I told you. I'm sad because I'm almost out of coffee. But on the bright side, this big ass long trip that we've been on from Ontario to Louisiana is almost coming to an end. We've only got 260, just over 260 miles to go. Well, we can't rule it out that um, somebody might freaking uh, pull out in front of me and I don't have time to stop. Um, let's see, it's four o'clock now. Die Hard's practice starts at 5.30.
they have two hours of practice so technically I don't the race won't start until oh let me uh, back that up and reword it the pre-race show will not start until around 7:20 p.m. Uh, Central Time, so 8:20 Eastern. It'll go live at 8:30 Eastern, and I will be broadcasting that tonight. I forget how many laps it is at Pocono, but hopefully they can run it caution-free and green flag the whole way. That way, it's done and over with quick. Because pacing laps at Pocono are longer than the laps were last night at Talladega with uh, Cyber. But for those that were watching that last night, if you didn't watch it, you missed one hell of a finish. That was one of the best finishes I have seen in Cyber history last night. They're not joking around anymore now during the uh, Fast 15. But I will be streaming the race tonight and then who knows what I'll pop on with probably something goofy like PUBG or I definitely don't want to do like a late stream of uh, Farmer's Dynasty because most of y'all will be either in bed or doing something else like watch TV or with family or whatever so I might pop on with some bullshit game me just running around and get some uh funny commentary from me, Mike, and maybe Kayla, or Caleb's still in uh, Mexico right now on business. Maybe get Cody in, the three of us can uh, dick around on PUBG or something like that. Or I might just do some more ATS, who knows? It all depends on uh, what I feel like uh, getting into, but... That's awesome, man. I appreciate the support. Now, I'd appreciate this guy in front of me moving a little fucking faster so I can get to my exit ramp here. Oh well, yeah, it should work. No problem. Just make sure that you put it uh, up at the top priority and you'll be good. Oh boy, that steel cold does not like this. You are not going over, bitch. Now I see why they only put one coil on here. More than one coil, that trailer would have flipped. And you would have been grossly overweight if that damn thing weighs as much as it does just for one. I gotta rock the company colors though. Since I've refired the, uh, well, refired up the, uh, Carlisle uh, Virtual Trucking Company got a rep to company colors. Plus, I, I've always been partial to blue. But we'll see what we get for a load down here in New Orleans. If there's something uh, that's not going to take like uh, eight bajillion miles, we might. If, unless we can find a good load down in New Orleans that's worth hooking up to and pulling over a thousand miles, we'll take a, a look and see uh, what they have in the uh, freight market once we get there, which we're only 160 out, so it's not like we're too far. That's weird take my hand out the wheel and it, it, it kind of just drives itself. I've been meaning to start playing uh, Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition for forever. I picked that up on the uh, winter sale on Steam and just haven't had a chance to play around with it yet. That was one of my favorite games on console and hopefully the Game of the Year Edition doesn't let me down on PC. I've been playing a lot of Wolfenstein. I went through uh, the Old Blood and the New Order, and then started in with uh, the New Colossus. I'm actually I need to 
either fucking tattoo shit on my head or write down a list of what days I should be doing what. Cause there's so many series I need to do. And I need to like prioritize what days to do what. I think set up a streaming schedule and then have it listed easily to where everybody can see what days, what's going to be done. But knowing my ass, how uh, unpredictable I am, I, I'd probably deviate from the schedule so much it'd, it'd be just a waste of time to do it. I'm really looking forward to their uh, next big update on the 18th, which coincidentally is the day after my birthday. Hopefully they bring in uh, mission, the uh, uh, mental diarrhea here. Hopefully they bring in the transport missions for the HDS pickup truck. If, uh, if the devs of that game would give me a copy of it, I would gladly do a house flipper unless it's made its way out. As far as I know right now, it's still in a uh, either a closed beta or an alpha state, and only the top name guys have their hands on it. I don't think Drugger's MP has any mods. I mean, you'd be like, instead of flipping a table, just be like disturbed, start dropping plates. I think that right there would be an ideal job for me. Video game tester. Just hand me copies of games to test and I think society would never see me again because I'd literally be sitting behind a screen all day. Actually, I'm sitting behind four screens right now. I mean, I'd love to. If I could get the channel big enough to where I could get recognized and they would start taking interest in me potentially doing something. Now they'd have to understand though that I'm brutally honest. And if there's something that absolutely sucks, I'm gonna tell them that it absolutely sucks and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I mean, hell, I sat through a uh, car mechanic simulator from day one as broken as that game was. I sat through all the patches and all the updates and they finally sta it stabilized out after a while, but it took like 4,000 patches. Yeah. Fucking cuphead. Day one was... Day one was kind of a... Uh, for me, at first, it was entertaining as fuck and funny as hell because you tried to, like, put your control arms back on a car and they'd stick out like two feet away but yet the bolts went in place perfectly but yeah after that it really got fucking bad hey look Louisiana but yeah I mean if we can get the channel up there to where it's a bit more popular and uh Maybe some of the developers can uh, overlook my, uh, well, I do have a mode that I could switch between uh, swearing a lot and being proper. I can do both. If they can realize that I do have a serious side and if they're giving me a product to test, I'm not gonna swear every like 10 seconds. I'd gladly start testing games and being part of uh, beta testing and all that stuff. It'd be friggin' awesome. It's just right now, they look at me versus all the other bigger, big YouTubers with, hell, 10,000, 30,000, 100,000, 300,000. Obviously, they're gonna gravitate to those. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. I have to be way more family friendly, but then that means I get boring because then I, I can't have fun. 
We can't talk about sensitive topics. We can't. We can't pull a South Park moment like fuck, 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 fuck. We can't do stuff like that, which kind of is what has brought in the attention that I've gotten. But, I mean, hell, if that's the way it's got to go, then so be it. Because, like I said, 2018, I've got a lot of big plans for what I want to do with this channel. I want to see it expand and grow, get bigger, and bring all you guys along for the journey. Since a lot of you have been here for a while, I want everything to be showcased and those of you that have been with me a long time be rewarded to see that we've made it big and without your help it would have never happened. So I guess that's something that we can start working on. I just need to uh, start losing the... Oh my god, they got some nice looking loads coming out of here already. Oh, there's the big steel cable. There is the big steel cable and right now I'm just gonna park like a... Park like a wiener. I'm already seeing some good loads right there. There's that gigantic steel cable. Where is it going now? Oh, Bismarck, North Dakota. That is a long run. Ooh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Tampa, Florida. Butte, Montana. Elko. That is a long, long, long trip. I think we're going to take that 66,000 pound cable reel. It's worth a good chunk of change there. That one's on a regular low boy. See, the problem is I've already been to Tampa, though. I, don't, I haven't been to uh, Bismarck yet. See, we've been to... Oh, excuse me. We've been to uh, Kingsland, Gainesville, Orlando, Yeehaw Junction, which is a truck stop. We've been to Boca Raton. We've been to Fort Lauderdale. We've been to Naples. And I'm going to call myself a liar now because I haven't been to Tampa. Now, Tampa is a shorter jump over. And it's still worth 51000 Okay, we'll, we'll go to Tampa. I have no problem with that. I haven't been there, so we'll just make the I-10 jump. Now, see, normally I could have said... I could, I could have said, screw that, I'm doing what I want, but no. I, I listen to you guys, and... Luckily, all we have to do is just come right over here and reaccept our load. Which is right there, lift truck chassis. Looks like we hit heavy haul uh, central over here. Alright, so we're going to earn equipment. We want this lift truck chassis that is going to Tampa, Florida. Let's back up under it. Let's get our strobes going. Oh, I turned it too far. Uh, And like an idiot, get in, get in gear. Oh, it, it was in fifth. That's why. I swear, I, I I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional idiot. I've spent 33 years perfecting the trade. All right, so let's see what this load looks like from the outside. Here's we've got. Oh my God, Becky, look at that butt. It is so big. So we've got, we got three big ass loads. I want to drive that down the highway. Screw the semi. Let me drive the armored vehicle. All right. So we're good on fuel. It's only a 654 mile trip. We've got our strobes going. We got our sexy Peterbilt sitting here. We're gonna fill out our e-log here because the government's saying we're tired, plus uh, that coffee's catching up, so I'm gonna run over to the little shed wherever it is over there, the uh, foreman's office and uh, pee on his desk. We'll be back in a minute.
All right, there we go. So we added uh, some extra water to the tires there, we're good. Just good to go, we're good on fuel. I'm literally staring at probably the last sip of coffee I have. We're off. Let's get this big, big Bertha rolling here. Oh yeah, perfect timing, exactly. Let's see. 420, oh yeah, it is 420. Look at that. Oh, this car is actually gonna be nice enough to let me go. Right on. Didn't Chevy let me go? What I'm not liking though is this car not moving. Oh, 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 is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? Yeah, he's going. Uh, let's see. What am I? What is this? This is, uh, One of my favorite liquids of all times, uh, CSTD Temptation. Hey, Jeb, what's up? Welcome to the uh, carnival. Whoa, 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 I swear I just saw that tugboat like floating on top of the water. That was crazy. I love how I had to put a second mouse pad down just to keep my mouse from vibrating. That's how much force my wheel puts out, even with it almost minimized to nothing. This is actually a pretty, pretty awesome looking bridge. We had a nice view of the, the, uh, the Gulf Coast there. So that big cargo ship off there in the distance and the couple tugboats bringing it in. You know, normally by about this time, I would be bored out of my gourd. Just driving, but with y'all over there in live chat, this is actually keeping it fun. Because if not, I just turn on the radio and then I uh, kind of zone out. Uh, you missed about uh, almost three hours worth of trucking. But don't feel bad because this is this is just the first episode in what is going to be probably a very, 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 very long series, seeing how I just rebooted my virtual trucking company. And the only way, best advertisement is to be out there doing it and recruiting it. So I, this series is probably going to span a lot of episodes. I, I mean, I, I've, I've looked back in the archives. I've got countless videos with uh, the old Carlisle, all the way back to the Holland days, actually. I don't know, that was on my channel. They got somebody hacked it, and uh, I lost all that, but. This channel here has a ton of uh, ATS content on it. So we're, with the, the trucking company being revamped again, between here and, uh, <laughs> I, I've noticed that happen to myself before that it would just randomly sign me out. You gotta, you gotta love Google for that. This is probably just gonna be the first in a long series of videos with Carlisle. After the morning I went through being in quote unquote, I mean, 
I'm gonna say now this is just my word but being contacted somebody and intimidated by saying that oh well we have a legally binding contract you don't have a legal binding contract jack shit when the person who allegedly gave you the rights to this company never was in the owner position so therefore the um, how do you how does it become intellectual property no it becomes unintellectual property because your dumbass can't understand that the person who gave it to you never had the permission to do it or the powers to do it so yeah And then, just to pull out the big, oh, oh, I can send a cease and desist. Do what you gotta do, dude. I got everything on, uh, on this account here showing that the namesake is copyrighted. Every, all my content that comes on here falls under my copyrights. I don't know why I, all of a sudden everybody's gonna have to start beef with it but well, I mean whatever I'm not I'm not playing around with it I'm not listening to it I'm not dealing with it it's undue drama that sounds horrible that sounds absolutely horrible make it go away thank god Mobile Alabama I don't know why I'm in the hammer lane with this thing. I always tend to gravitate out to this lane for some dumb reason. Oh, that's because I still haven't made the pass on that dodge. Now I have. Might have got a little too close to him and scared him. Whoops. Now, hopefully Tampa's got some good loads. We hit the jackpot with heavy alls in there. Yeah, uh, I guess that's maybe a, a good reason why I stay out in the fast lane, because usually I don't ever intend on being slow. Forza 7 really let me down. I thought that we were going to be so much better than Forza 6. It looked so much more promising. I get in it and I start playing it. I'm like, whoa, what, what, what the hell is wrong with the cameras here? Why do I have some goofy looking cameras that were nothing like, go back to like Forza 3, Forza 4, 5? Give me back a good game. Forza 7 was no better than 6. They tried to go too much like Gran Turismo, where they... I didn't like the whole thing where they dumped it into, uh... Championships, where you could win a championship without going through and completing all the races. You literally just had to do one thing in one column, one thing in one column, one thing in one column, and then, boom, you win the cup in that. And I had spent a hundred dollars on the ultimate of her, uh, ultimate edition of it, so yeah, I was more than a little bit ticked off. I don't know. That's probably something that we might see in the near future, seeing how technology has evolved so much. But That would be awesome to where everything is all coexisting together. Trucks, planes, cars, uh, boats, anything. Hey, we're in Florida. Pensacola. Exactly. Hey, um, uh, can I, uh, borrow one of the, uh, cores out of your, uh, reactor? I gotta recharge my computer here so I can play the game. If, if I don't get this reactor, I'm gonna have to go back and play Cuphead. 
and I don't want to do that. So please, don't make me hurt you. Just give me the, just give me one core out of your reactor. You have like 800 in there. Don't make me go out to Chernobyl. I'll scrape up some radioactive dirt and somehow make it work on my computer. I gotta get my gaming fixed in, man. Better yet, I'll just build a computer into the dirt at Chernobyl. I should be good to go for, this, well, the computer will outlast me. I'll probably last about an hour inside the exclusion zone, so I'll have an hour to play before I die. But it'd probably be the most fun hour ever if we could do all that stuff together. Just make sure I don't live stream it because they can kind of uh, frown on it if you die during a stream. Like literally die. That's not good for business. And so the switch from coffee to... <laughs> I can see it now. Um, what is this guy doing with a service truck that has like 18 miles of uh, ethernet cable and uh, USB cables and stuff? Oh, he uh, built a computer inside the exclusion zone that runs off of nuclear uh, fallout. He's just uh, running the cables out of the exclusion zone to a safe spot to where he can uh, play a game where uh, everybody can drive cars, planes, trucks, trains boats and everything together the world's first nuclear powered computer don't hit the van I have to play some like cheesy 80s songs I'm running all that cable to. <laughs> Still downloading that map, good lord. Good grief. I can't remember how big mine was. <laughs> and I could be taken so many different ways. So many different ways. Excuse me guys, coming through, in case you didn't notice the super huge uh, well, big long blue truck with a big fat green ass on it with the uh, strobe lights. We're coming through. I don't see any alligators. We need either the animals or the big chunks of flat tires. Oh boy, why did you do that? Why did you jump out in front? Are you trying to pass your buddy? Oh, now you get back in line? Bravo, bravo. Insert evil scientist laugh here. And now if it doesn't work, it's gonna be like angry German kid version 3.0. Oh, two Peterbilt's pulling logs. Now, that right there was exactly what you see in real life. Oh, I'm going two miles an hour faster than this other guy. I'm gonna pull out and pass him. Test air right here. I do like the uh, the rear mode flaps on this one, the uh, passing side and suicide. That is pretty freaking sweet. All right, I'm gonna, at the risk of being stupid, I'm gonna reset my cruise control. 
I don't see any reason why any of these trucks would pull out and try to take me out. Oh, this is a crusty, rusty old truck here. Did you drive that thing out of the swamp? Yeah, that's what's on the uh, the front of this truck. It's the uh, naked trucker going. Says hauling ass. That's in my grill, and it's also on the mud flaps. Too bad they didn't have the uh, the window. Oh, I also got the trucker girl uh, steering wheel too. It's a little hard to see it, but. So uh, just before I don't kill anybody, see it? There, we got the trucking girl, uh, repping the trucking girl steer. Ugh. Repping the naked trucker tech steering wheel. The mud flaps and the grill. So once again, we're in this. I'm not even turn my lights on. Oh, actually, no. I'll, I'll, I'll run with the uh, markers on. This is about right for Florida. Rain. Tallahassee. We're still in the panhandle, though. We need to get out of the panhandle and head down. Which we're either gonna get, hopefully we get on an interstate instead of the Florida toll road again. Does that suck? But now we're looking for Jacksonville and Miami, so this is where we're gonna either luck out and get an interstate, or we're gonna get screwed and get the uh, toll road. Which this load has to fit through the toll road, but. Best case scenario, we don't end up having to go that route because I really don't feel like dealing with the toll road. Even though there's only like two of them. Um, I think that's, if you do end up on the toll road, they do start right around Gainesville. And damn it, I'm about to use the uh, special lane to pass this guy here. Sorry, I have the permits to be over here. Oversized letting you guys decide to play leapfrog, so yeah. Huh, I just heard that. New, uh. <sighs> Stupid little Nissan Sentra. Better get over, dude. You're about to get run the hell over. Hey, why is my engine brake not? There you go. Drop down 75. Damn, we must be going downhill. I love that my chrome, uh, Fender covers look like they're uh, nasty, uh, haven't been cleaned in 10 years. And as per the rain here, it's already died off again. We're only getting like little showers. We haven't not had a real good, decent rain in forever. I think this is, uh, well, this is an Eha Junction, because that's down by Boca Raton. This should be Jacksonville, if I'm not mistaken. I 
Did you drag the SCS over to it? Or in your, uh, as long as it's in the mod folder and it's just the SCS file for the map, it should show up in the mod manager. Oh, yeah, we got some orange groves down here. That's weird. Mine showed right up. Take a look at it after we drop off in uh, Tampa. But it, it shows a picture of the map, and it says uh, like coast, either C to C or coast to coast. That's not the gear I want. This gear. Need to get on this road over here. And there's the Tampa, Miami. We didn't take 75 the last time. I, oh, yeah, we did because uh, Savannah and uh, we don't want to go to Savannah or Jacksonville. I dump that in too low of a gear right now. We're not too far out now. We're only 177 out. some construction and now we're on 75 what lane is closed probably the right and get out ahead of time that way I'm not stuck by the car what the hell is he doing look, look that truck in front of me all right that's got me worried I'm just gonna get over here He would have slid me down. Speed limit's 55 through here, and I'm not even doing that. He's way off pace. Oh, wait, dude. I uh, don't think I will. Oh yeah, I ended up on top of it like a seesaw. There we go, let's get these final miles here behind us. There's Gainesville, so let's see. Let's see how the traffic is. like a fucking alligator comes across the road. Ah. Florida fishing game up my ass. Um, sir, you ran over an alligator with your truck. Um, it ran across the highway. There's the sign I was wanting to see. Orlando and Tampa. Nope, no traffic here in Gainesville. Um, I haven't seen any Animal Crossings. I know that, uh, for the, uh, the Dalton map, Hawks was working on adding in wildlife from, uh, I believe it was the Extreme Trucker or Extreme Trucker 2. 
So there was uh, wildlife interactions on that map, but on here, no, they don't. And sadly, you can't run over them on the Dalton, because I've tried. Leave it to me to try the most dumb things. Thankfully, no, but it does sometimes scare the shit out of you when you're driving over it and it's cracking and the way he's got the textures layered, it's not all just flat. There, there are potholes and stuff that will throw you around if, if you're going too fast or if you go slow. You can, you can feel the truck driving up and down through the, uh, the fractured ice, but... Thank God you can't go through it like the old days of Extreme Trucker where you go too fast around a corner and there's an open spot, you slide into it and just bloop, done. I think I like a bypass. I've hit a cow with a uh, Peterbilt before. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, exactly good. There was hamburgers strewn all over the highway. Totaled the truck. That freaking car seriously just merged right in behind me. Not oh, need to get over here this time. Oh, it's not the Orlando Toll Road. Thank God. What the hell? There's a person walking on the side of the road. That was a chick walking on the side of the road. Was that a hooker? I mean, she was in all denim, including the purse. Pretty sure that was a hooker. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want something that uh, Ajax and uh, Brillo Pad won't take off. Nice Mustang. Yeah, that that would be some shit that... Uh, Oh, look, that, that, maybe the hooker ran away from that car right there. The, the cops have it surrounded and she took off because there's, like, drugs in the car or something. And she's just casually walking away. Like, do 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 do, do that's not my car. I don't know what you're talking about, drugs. I don't have any. It's not my car. Ma'am, the, the, the plates come back to you. It's not my car! Dodge we just passed there too. I didn't realize we we're so close too. Now we're like 20 miles out. That was the first time though I've ever seen somebody walking on the side of the interstate. Like that was 100% completely freaking random. Long car past me. Yeah, we'll we'll just go with hitchhiker. It sounds better. A lot better. What about a hook hiker? All right, let's roll in the. Let Tampa know we're here.
Tampa, we're here in case you can tell by the obnoxiously loud jade break. No, 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 bad car. pulling for fuel here like he's some kind of big shot and he's just gonna drive straight through what the hell was that drive through fueling well, guess what homie you're gonna wait don't even think about pulling out oh crap do we have to go into like Beezer oh this is gonna be a bitch Ah, uh, no, it's the easy entrance. Oh, there's a total random UPS truck just sitting there. Where do you want this? Oh, imagine that, in the same spot they always want. Oh, no, no, I'm not a camera so I can shut up, car. I straddle that for some reason? Not just a hair, you know what? We'll lock the diffs and pull it forward. It's not doing any damage to the trailer. There we go, she sat back down. Unlock the diffs. Let's get rid of this big ass trailer here behind us. Beep. Landing gear down. 654 miles. Oh, we just peaked over another level, so now I guess we can start doing what well, maybe fragile cargo, I guess. Got everything else, why the hell not? And we have $711,000, so I think we might actually, uh, we're gonna find a spot where we want a garage. Oh look, it's the same chassis that I just took now going to uh, California for $208,000. We've got a quick creek concrete mix going from Tampa to Williams Lake, BC. Where the hell? Is oh my God. 3,500 mile round trip. Oh, one way trip, geez. Not going back to Providence, Rhode Island. They didn't have crap for loads. Empty trailer to Charleston, West Virginia, which that's a 900-mile uh, trip. But I don't want to. I don't want an empty trailer, but I really. Uh, <laughs> crap. Let's see what they've got inside of. Uh, not job market, stop doing that. You're hitting the wrong button, retard. World map. Is there a dealer down here? Uh, if there is, there's the shop. I don't think they have a dealer in Tampa. And I don't know if I can buy online yet. If, and even if I do buy online, that's gonna throw me back into uh, Phoenix. What the hell, they don't have Daytona? They have Palm Coast, New Smyrna Beach, but they don't have Tampa, or Daytona. Oh, they still have Key West though. I want to load going to Key West. But unfortunately, I think we're gonna t end up taking the uh, quick rate load. We'll go over to Cat. We're gonna fuel up first. Look at that random Peter Bill sitting there. I might have 
Next time I come down into Florida, I'll, if I get close enough, I'll just drive down to Key West. It's close enough. Let's get some service down here. Actually, no, we can start fifth gear from nothing. Let's roll around here. Uh, 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 my wheels. It's max rotation. All right, so let's see. We're gonna maintain our truck here. Another thousand two dollars. Oh, that hurts so bad. Darn, I only have seven hundred ten thousand left. I wonder if there's anything that we can change on here that I want to do. Motor-wise, have we unlocked anything? Nope. The biggest motor we can get is one that sounds like crap. What are the options? I've got the 63 inch flat top, which is more than big enough for me. Yeah, we have the 330 gears in this one. Interior, I've got the tan old dash. Wait, what? Tan old dash? I don't want tan old dash. I want uh, black old dash, blue, new dash. Oh boy. Oh, the new dash has everything that I need in it. Nice. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. Now let's check this. Gauges, trim, chrome. That looks a little dumb. I did the, uh, let's go back to... Interior. Do they have the old blue dash yeah they do but I kind of want the new dash what's the gray one do to me yeah gray looks all right we can do that because gray is a fairly neutral color now get back inside in dash panel there we go that's all I want wood paint metal carbon black wood black that no 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 I think the wood looks pretty good and I think we eh, no I'm gonna keep my twin stick I like my twin stick upper dash standard tan they have one that matches the there you go gray dash Oh wait, look, there's texture issues on that right there. Uh, if we go with the, let's see what the standard is. Standard doesn't look that bad, I like that. Lower dash, standard. So gauges, we, oh, look at this, we can get blue gauges. Okay, that just brought it up a level. And then gauge trim, chrome, paint. God, those all look, they don't look right. Ah, we're just gonna grow with chrome trim because nothing else looks right. So if this is right, I should have a freaking uh, computer inside the dash now. See my wheel just spin around satanically? Alright. Do I have one? Oh my god, I do. Look at that. Ha 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 ha! We've got the computer in here. Hey, this might tell me how many miles my truck has. If the freaking wheel wasn't in the way. That's how much fuel we have. Yeah. Feels like we're sitting way too high in the seat here. Why are we, uh, um, we're way too high up there. No, drop me down in the seat. Doo -doo -doo. Nope, the wrong way. I want to go down. We were way too high up in that seat. Yeah, there we go, look at that. 
How many miles does this truck have? Great. The one thing it doesn't tell you. But at least I do have a fuel fuel counter, and now I've got an in dash. Uh, in dash counter. You know, I might actually have to go up just a tad because I think my ass fell through the seat. As long as I can still see my fuel, that's all that matters. Uh, that's not supposed to be third gear, that's up. There you go, there you go. Yeah, we went the wrong way. I don't care. We need that fuel. I like this new interior now. Looks a lot better. Oh, you suck that diesel down. One hundred sixty-nine point eight gallons. Get out before! Oh shit! There you go. I hit a car. And now, because I hit that car and it did that much damage, that's kind of unrealistic. But okay. We're gonna head back real quick and get repaired, seeing how I just fucked everything that I fixed. That was dumb. Uh, I think I have the biggest tanks you could put on it. If we're gonna do damage repair, fuck it, let's, let's do it right. Fence. <clears throat> there we go, we're at 34% now. Can't wait to see the bill for this one. Bet you it's six grand. Really? That's it? Only a thousand? Holy crap. I got some really good insurance. So there we go. Now that we're refueled. Are you... F wow. I'll take the 2% damage and roll with it. We gotta get hooked up to this load. Don't even think about it, truck. I like the blue gauges. Oh, I thought so much about being a dick and taking a shortcut. Excuse me, coming through. Coming through. Coming through, Dodge Stratus. Here we are at the cat dealer. Come in here, get our load. We want that quick creek concrete mix going all the way to British Columbia, which, hey look, it's right in front of us. And Trepid Stratus, they're both pieces of shit. That's my rearview mirror sticking again. Ugh. I don't know what was worse, the Stratus, the Intrepid, or the Neon. They all sucked pretty bad. Alright, so let's take a look at this one. So this time we actually have a tarp load. Got blinkers everywhere on this bitch. Right now we're out of Reading, Pennsylvania. Whoop whoop. All right, 
we got a load and I'm hitting buttons right and left. Or pop my uh, quick release steering wheel off because three and a half hours behind the wheel. Oh, that takes a toll on you. Plus, I'm going to have to sit for another couple hours once this race kicks off. It's five o'clock. I still have to eat. And then get ready for the race, so wheelbase is gonna go doo -doo -doo -doo. If you guys like what you've seen, and obviously you feel all crazy fuckers have hung around as long as you have, you did. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you like it, let's see if we can uh, bring this channel up to 10,000 viewers by uh, the end of the year. Uh, all right, the uh, race will be right around 7.20 if you're in Central Time, 8.20 Eastern. But for now, I can finally get up and have to adult, go feed the dogs, do all that good stuff, get ready for, uh, get set up for iRacing and all that stuff. But we will be back later with some uh, fast track action at Pocono Speedway with the k cars of the Die Hard Racing League. So thank you. All of you guys for watching, all of you who might not even be there now because the stream has gone on for literally three and a half hours, but for anybody who's tuned in from the beginning to the end, you guys are the reason why I do this, and uh, obviously this is just the start of a very, very, very long series, so once again, thank you to all you guys out there, and we will see you guys next time. Peace out.